Let's take a look at the 2017 updates in sketching. So we'll grab a part, we'll open it up and we'll start a new sketch on this face here. A lot of our customers come from an AutoCAD background and as such are more familiar using a right click menu uh, than perhaps some of the more commonly used shortcut tools within SolidWorks. Now this right click menu uh, had grown over the years and in 2017 it's been streamlined to be a lot shorter than it has been before. We've also seen some improvements to areas like sketch entities here where the organisation of the icons has been brought more in line with the S key. So you'll see it's a grid structure and icon based making it a lot fresher and easier to understand. If we go ahead and start a slot as an example, you'll see another of the improvements in 2017 here, which is something called shaded sketch contours. So when I draw a closed contour, you'll see it takes on a gradual shading within it. This makes it much easier for us to move the object around the screen whilst it's underdefined. If I add another entity to that sketch, uh, so a circle here, you'll see that we get gradual shading as well. So again, just making our life a lot easier to add relations, manipulate and move entities around the screen. I'm just going to start the offset tool here and add an offset on of one millimeter to that sketch as well. And you'll see the gradual shading continues. When we have multiple contours within a sketch, sometimes we'll want to only select a particular contour. So we can use the right click menu and grab hold of selected contours to do that. But now we can also use the Alt shortcut key to grab hold uh, of particular areas. So you'll see here I can move around my sketch, grab particular areas and perhaps start a cut extrude here to do that outside loop. So the improvements have made it much, much faster for us to do things like that. One of the things that new users used to find uh, occasionally is when you're sketching quickly, you can sometimes create uh, accidental what we refer to as micro lines. So areas, for example, here where we've got a small extension to a line. Now that's uh, been worked on in the background, so it should be a thing of the past. It's quite hard for me to demonstrate, so I've just sort of amplified it here with that line. Uh, but again, that has been worked on, so it shouldn't happen too much anymore. One of the other things that I find quite useful now with selected contours is if you have a situation like this, we don't get the shading within this region because it isn't a closed contour. As soon as we trim that off, you'll see uh, the shading reappears. So again, making life easier for us to know that we've got the right type of uh, sketch for how we want to work. Another area that's seen some improvements is in the segment tool. So a tool that was brought in a few releases ago now. So if we just start that tool, uh, its support for multiple line types has now been extended to include uh, splines and other entities as well. So it gives us a lot more flexibility. Okay, so in summary, we've seen the new right mouse button shortcut menus, the shaded sketch contours, just allows for easier dragging of sketch entities. We can use the Alt key as a shortcut for contour select. And those uh, four or five updates should enable us to perform faster sketching. I also mentioned about the micro line prevention that's uh, been worked on in the background and the enhancements to the segment tool.